Okay guys, it's almost muzzle loading season and I traded for this gun a few years back. It is a traditions a traditions pursuit to XLT and it has a Nikon Buckmaster, the old style scope on it. It has a thumb hole stock and I absolutely hate that. I traded for this gun, I didn't buy it. I've always hated this thumb stock, whatever it's called. So finally got around to contacting Traditions and I ordered a new butt stock for 30 bucks. So we're gonna put that on today. The reason I hate this stock, when my, when my hand goes into this stock, I have a tendency to wanna to torque the rifle is the reason that I dislike it. My hand naturally is like this, okay? And when you put it in the, the stock, you actually have to cant your hand, and when you make your, what do they call it, master grip, I have a tendency to want to cant the rifle because it just doesn't feel right, so I'm canting the rifle 5, 10 degrees when I'm making a shot. So that's the reason I don't like it. When I shoot long range precision, I'm like this. My thumb is on the side when I make my trigger shot. Now when I'm hunting, I might be gripping like this, but this gun, it's just too high of a grip. You can't get a master, master grip on it like a pistol. And this is totally uncomfortable with this stock. So we're gonna change it out. So first thing I do is remove this butt pad and I'm going to reuse the one that came with it because this is a lot softer. This one seems pretty, pretty hard. So I removed the Phillips screwdriver with a number, with a number one and I shouldn't have. It slipped the first time so we're going to go back with a number two. You need to make sure that that screw fits that good. The problem with the number one screwdriver is the point of the screwdriver was bottoming out. Once we take that off, that gives us access. There is a bolt that goes in here to like here. See that bolt? That's what we got to take out. It takes a six millimeter. You need to get you a long extension, six millimeter hex, and a ratchet. And don't strip it out, it's in there really tight. And at this point, probably take that off. And just remember, there's plastic in there. So, there you go. So, you're going to need a 6 millimeter hex. You should have a set like that. It's going to drop right out. It is a very long, it is a very long bolt. Checking to make sure that it wasn't a torque by accident. Okay, you just slide the new one on, just like that. We are going to use the buck stop on the old one, but we are going to use the butt stock on the old one. This is a lot softer. It did have different screws. I had to use a small screwdriver. This one is, this one's really hard. I like this. I like having a soft rubber. It will fit. 
it will fit on there so we're gonna switch the bucks butt stocks out too gotta feed this thing in there it didn't give me a torque spec and i mean it was in there pretty tight but you know this is plastic right here so i don't want to over torque it so i'm going to leave it at that if it starts wobbling at some point i know what to tighten up so I'll just put the butt stock on and we're done little tip i was having difficulty putting the other one on so you need to make sure you pull your screws out all the way get them lined up in the holes before you tighten them down okay guys the old butt stock does not match up I don't really like that. See how we got a lip? See the side sticking out on that side. But I like this soft rubber. I'm just going to have to live with it. I don't like this one. This one is hard. Look, there's metal in there. And it looks, it looks totally different than the one I just put in there. The one I just put in there was honeycombed. So this one's got metal. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with this soft one. I like that soft feel. So there we go. If anyone needs a thumb hole stock for their Traditions muzzle loader, let me know and I'll give you a really good deal on this one.